hello to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska and we take you again for a journey through Polish art and many details of it. We'll tell you today more how to buy art, especially from abroad, because we have a specialist here with us, Julia Materna. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you <laughs> to have me here. Um, so you work in Dessa Unikim as a specialist as a head of special project, but also um, and you find all over Europe, all over the world, pieces of Polish art to later present them at the auctions. Um, how does it work? Tell us details. Oh, there, there is no simple way to explain that because with each painting we can connect a history and all of them are different. We mostly um, find the artworks for auctions in Poland and of course we each week we are going to a different Polish city. Of course we have like our dominant destinations like Krakow, Gdańsk, uh, Poznań. So uh, we travel around Poland and I at least once a month I go there to see like other galler like galleries or uh, private collectors in those cities. But also um, I'm in charge of finding uh, paintings or artworks um, in different countries. And I had like many times I traveled to Switzerland or Italy to find works like that. Sometimes those people come uh, to us via mail they write to us and then I'm going to see the painting in reality to have a look at that. Uh, and sometimes we do this like a lot of reading, a lot of searching in the literature, in the internet to find a piece of art abroad, which is a harder uh, task to do. <laughs> well, absolutely, especially that um, as a lot of those are well private collections and, and if they are legally on purpose, that's a good way. But because of our hearts, uh, history and history, and st then a lot of uh, the paintings were lost or stolen or ended up somewhere. Mm, they say if we open up every single private uh, gallery in Germany, we will <laughs> find a lot of Polish paintings. Uh, that's true. Uh, well, unfortunately, there was um, like a big book created before the war, which was like an inventory of all of the uh, like castle collections in Poland and all of the art. So we know what was uh, stolen during the, the Second World War. Uh, but also we have those like internet bases of stolen paintings from uh, major collections. And so what happened in such kind of case that someone calls you, for example, and you go to the place and you see the painting and you realize, well, uh, this one is... A stolen painting. Well, each time we see a painting, uh, we are obliged to look at the like Ministry of Culture database of stolen paintings, and we know which which they are. Although they are thousands of stolen paintings, we look at that. If there is a P Polish painting stolen from a private collection or a public collection uh, during the Second World War, like the Ministry of Culture or the museum, if the painting is abroad, like for for instance, if it's on an auction abroad. Uh, like the Ministry of Culture is trying to like have this discussion to retrieve this painting, to get it back. But if it's not possible, sometimes we are actually beating at auction to buy those paintings again. To <laughs> Well, it's a <laughs> sad story, but this is how it is. But, so basically but we're buying them again. Yes. Uh, sometimes we get them. I mean, they are uh, legally um, you know, turned back. But um, it was a story, for instance, of Jewess with oranges or of some of the paintings of Anna Bilinska, they were coming to us from like international auction houses. And thanks to many donors, they were brought back because they were bought at auction. So uh, this is a fortune, good story <laughs> <laughs> of it. Wonderful. And um, which kind of paintings are right now um, the most popular in a way? Like, um, do, uh, is there a theme or is it a center way of painting? Is it old art or modern art, especially in Poland? Well, I think it's uh, because the, like a, the group of investors, of collectors is getting bigger and bigger. And we are very happy to see that, uh, especially like in those two, three years. So I wouldn't say it's a theme or a time. I think those are good paintings. Like it doesn't matter if it's contemporary or it's old masters, like the good paintings of talented artists are always in price, like Jacek Malczewski or Wojciech Fangor, uh, of Andrzej Wróblewski, whose painting we sold for uh, 11 million zlotys without uh, the Hammer Prize. Each time we have a um, successful artist with very good um, art pieces. Of course, the clients see that as well. That's why they are investing.
because it's a good time for buying now. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> so, um, and those are mostly uh, pieces of um, Polish big names. Of course. Um, and you mentioned in the previous episode that they stay also in Polish hands. Is it true? That's true. And we are happy uh, to discover that as well, because um, there is a chance, like many of the major collectors, they have their like collectors which they are presenting to the public. So um, there is always a chance that those paintings will be seen by, a, by, by like a bigger audience or they will uh, be um, actually donated to a museum. So we are very happy to like discover this trend. <laughs> well, the only thing for us which is left is again to invite all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, to go to the exhibitions uh, in the glass house in Dessa, where uh, the auction house in Warsaw, where it's not only auctions, but there are also every week different exhibition. And you can see in person, sometimes different art that uh, you, we are possible to see in normal museums. And that's a challenge. And of course, if you want to become the buyer, that's the way of doing it as well. Just take part in an auction. And thank you for watching Berlin Daily Culture.